rubber. Rubber is divided into two types. Natural rubber and synthetic rubber. Synthetic rubber. Natural rubber is obtained naturally. Okay. It is obtained from the latex from rubber trees. Obtained from latex from rubber trees. And synthetic rubber, it is man-made rubber. Examples are neoprene, buna S, then buna N, thiocol, etc. are examples for synthetic rubber. It is man-made rubber. Now, first let us discuss about natural rubber. Natural rubber. Natural rubber is naturally occurring polymer having elastic properties and is, it is obtained from latex from rubber trees. And it is a linear polymer of isoprene. Linear polymer of isoprene. Isoprene is... 2 methyl 1 3 butadiene. This is called as isoprene. So, isoprene units linked together and form a chain compound which is a linear polymer called as natural rubber. Natural rubber is cis 1 4 polyisoprene is called as natural rubber okay now how can we prepare this in molecule of 2 methyl 1 3 butadiene that is ch2 double bond ch ch3 then ch2 double bond ch3 CH double. This is the, this is called as isoprene or 2 methyl 1 3 butadiene. Then what happens? Polymerizes and this bond shifts towards here and forms CH2. Then C double bond C, CH2. CH3, here CH, N times. This is called as natural rubber which is one cis 1,4 poly isoprene. Okay. Now, so natural rubber is cis 1,4 poly isoprene. It is obtained from isoprene. Why it is cis? Because we can say that double bond, in the case of the double bond, both the bulkier groups and the are on the same side. So it is cis 1 4 poly isoprene or cis poly 2 methyl 1 3 butadiene. Okay, this is the compound. Now, what are the important properties? They are elastic in nature. Natural rubber is elastic in nature, in nature because the molecules are held together by weak Van der Waals forces. Weak Van der Waals forces. So it is having the property elasticity. Okay, that is they elongate under stress and regain its shape when it when the stress is released. Next, it is soft at high temperature and brittle at low temperature. Next important property: it is soluble in non-polar solvents. Non-polar solvents. They are non-resistant to attack by oxidizing agents and the, property, the properties of rubber can be modified by a process called vulcanization. Vulcanization. What do you mean by vulcanization? On heating rubber with sulfur at a temperature of 373 Kelvin to 
415 Kelvin. What will happen? Sulfur linkages. Okay. That is cross links are formed. Vulcanization by vulcanization. Sulfur linkages between the two chains of rubber will be obtained. So cross links are obtained. And this make this rubber more hard and tough. Like this. See. CH2. CH3. Then CH, CH2. This is one chain. Then next CH2, C, CH3, CH, CH2. Then here sulfur linkages. Okay. Like this sulfur linkages. So due to the sulfur linkages, cross links are obtained. So it becomes more hard and tough.